This is a review of Heart and Darkness, Scary Adventures in the Evolution of Disney Dark Rides. And I did get a review copy for free, but I am not being paid for the review. And I can assure you, this is definitely my honest opinion. I think you'll figure out pretty quickly. Uh, the first couple chapters of the book offered a good glimpse of the history of Dark Rides. I did not learn anything new, though. In fact, there were a few things I was disappointed by. They did not mention some of the earliest Dark Rides, which used donkeys to pull the carts. Uh, these are really old style ones. They're hard to find any information about them, uh, so I understand if they couldn't find that. They do discuss the Buffalo Pan American Exposition Ride, a trip to the moon, but that, uh, the, but there were dark rides before that. Although it is often cited as being the first, but that's when people don't know, you know, that there were ones even before. So it's kind of the first big famous one, but uh, they don't really discuss ones before that. It also mentioned uh, Blackpool's Ghost Train as the first ghost train, but Pratter also makes that claim. And I do side with Blackpool, since there's some debate. I think the two should both be mentioned, though. Uh, you know, one might be more changed than the original, and the other is more original, and things like that. Uh, we then go on and learn about the Disney Dark Rides, starting at Disneyland. Again, I'd have liked a little more information. For instance, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride is only about a page long and did not include things like that it had originally been planned as a roller coaster. So there are a lot of little fun tidbits that could have been in, the, in there in each little section that, you know, there just was not as much info as I would have liked. I was at first surprised how short some of the major rides like the Haunted Mansion were, but later found out that that was because they were covered in greater detail later. I also noticed some grammatical errors like it's a small world, uh, the rest of the ride titles were not in parentheses and all capitalized, um, and it's a small world, which is under uh, lowercase, and it was in parentheses, which was kind of weird. But the theme park press books often have some errors, and even the titles that I've written for them had some, so, you know, not surprising. Uh, there were some other errors, but that is just an example that I found. Uh, nothing glaring that really ruins the whole reading experience, though. The current and old attractions were included. Each chapter covered each park along with a little more information before and after the listed parks. These sections helped the book to be less formulistic, though uh, it made things a little confusing, as in the case previously, previously mentioned where the Haunted Mansion was not well covered, but later it was covered in more detail when it got to Disney World. Uh, so that kind of, you know, would have been a little different. I didn't necessarily like how they did that, uh, but it did... You know, well, I didn't like how they, you know, I felt like they should stick with, if it's going to be covered, cover it all right now, uh, then cover it in another chapter and make me think what this isn't covered. Uh, the, they did uh, include some unbuilt concepts. There were some not included in my book, Disney Unbuilt, but there were no attractions I had not heard of before. I had not included some of them because there was either little evidence they were uh, more than rumors or I learned about them later after the book was done, but before I've read this book. Uh, they also featured some information about coming attractions as well, which I liked. Uh, and then the book does include information about dark rides of other parks. The problem here is that it is American and Eurocentric. No mention is made about rides outside of these areas. Pratter is also not mentioned, which is a shame because it is one of the best parks for dark rides with tons of ghost trains and other classic century or older dark rides. Uh, while the quality of some of the Asian country park dark rides is lacking, countries like Japan have some excellent examples, and even some of the smaller countries have some really funny examples, so I would have liked to have seen more of that. And I did not learn anything from this read, but I am an author of multiple books on popular culture. Many readers may learn a great deal from this book. If you do know, if you do not know about the foreign Disney parks, extinct attractions, Western River Expedition, or Raleigh Crump, you will learn a lot from uh, the book. If all those are familiar things to you, then don't expect to learn much from this book. I still think it is a good book for the right audience, and even an enjoyable read for an expert. I recommend the digital edition over the print, since it is a good book, but it does not offer enough new information for the diehard fan, so I don't think that it's worth the extra money for a actual physical copy, unless you, you know, like I said, if you really don't know this stuff and it's all going to be big and surprising and new for you, I, otherwise, you know, 
it's it's a good book. You know, it's interesting. Even though I didn't really learn anything, I did I did enjoy the read. It had a it was an easy read. I had a good time reading it. So if you enjoyed this uh, video, please subscribe, comment below, and I hope to see you back soon. Thanks. Bye.